National Spotlight is about to shine all over downtown Detroit and our Heart Plaza is going to have some extra sparkle. That's because the Dodge Fountain is about to get a new lease on life. Let's take a live look right now at that landmark. Today we were able to get a tour inside as crews work their magic for a big reveal. Rob Maloney shows us what they're doing. 45 years ago this weekend, Mayor Coleman Young actually opened up Hart Plaza. It was named for Michigan Senator Phil Hart. But at the center of it all is the Dodge Fountain. And as the city's fortunes declined, the overall plaza and especially the fountain fell into disrepair. Last year, though, the city decided, you know, we need to put some money in there and fix up that fountain. They've been working on it all winter and it's ready for its national debut. Last October, they started pulling the brick pavers out from under the Dodge Fountain. Today, we're seeing the finishing touches as they're waterproofing the new nozzles and securing the painstaking work they've done over the winter. Ryan Miller from Fountains by Waterworks is the project manager. This job is, is, has presented every unique challenge uh, I could think of. Custom built with a $2 million donation by Anna Thompson Dodge, wife of Horace Elgin Dodge, one of the original Dodge brothers, they spared no expense on the fountain, which actually caused problems with the repair now because nothing came standard. You know, we couldn't clone them, so to speak. So we had to go around and figure out the dimensions and everything manually um, and scour every, you know, machine shop and uh, screw manufacturer we could find to find something that would work. Nearly half a century later, much of the innards were obsolete and worn out, and the fountain ring itself with its aluminum panels required a lot of time consuming work. All this had to be done by hand. Uh, there's 72 panels up there in that ring. Uh, each one of those panels had to be buffed down, neutral, and redone. Took about seven to 10 hours for each panel to be repolished and put you know, have the new patina put on. And underneath, they've replaced steel pipes with PVC. And Luke Miller says this ended up a tough but rewarding labor of love. It means so much to the city. Uh, it means so much to the people. Um, and it's, it's definitely a one of a kind project. There's only one of these fountains in the world. And um, it's really cool to be a part of. The bill for all that work comes to about $6 million. They have some more work to do on it. But they say that they're going to have the place up and running in full working order by Memorial Day weekend. So the kids can splash around, especially around the time of the Movement Festival. In downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Cool stuff. Thanks, Rod. By the way, Rod tells us Ryan and Luke were most excited to see that fountain lit up last night. It is beautiful, they say, and we'll be working in time for the draft.